candidate profiles. Each year during the election season, I ask those members running for office in the Waycross service area to come and record a message up to five minutes in length for you, the viewing audience at home. Waycross Community Media does not take positions on candidates or issues, but we do encourage you to all vote this November 8th. Hello, I'm Dr. Janet Everhard, your writing candidate for U.S. Representative to the 2nd Congressional District. District 2 is huge and heavily gerrymandered, but if you live in Mount Healthy, Green Hills, North College Hill, Hartwell, Wyoming, Redding, Blue Ash, Norwood, East Walnut Hills, and down to Mount Adams, then over eastward across southern Ohio to Portsmouth and Chillicothe, all a part of eight counties, you are one of 713,000 citizens of Congressional District 2. To know for sure, Google what is my Congressional District with your zip code and address. Now you may ask, why am I, Janet Everhart, a write-in candidate? Why will my name not be printed on your ballot? I was working for a Democratic candidate when I realized that, that there was an intolerable situation. Since 2010, a Pike County truck driver named William R. Smith has been running as a Democrat, though he doesn't campaign or have a website. I talked with Mr. Smith on two occasions to confirm that his views do not represent the Democratic Party platform. Smith uses his generic name to mislead voters who write the entire Democratic ticket. He effectively hijacks the progressive vote so that the Tea Party incumbent wins. This charade has been going on for six years and it has to stop right here and right now. You deserve a voice in Washington, a representative who listens, distills your problems into a fixable diagnosis, finds a solution, and works to make that solution a reality. Sounds like what a doctor does, don't you think? And in fact, I am a retired physician, prematurely retired due to the disability of my hands. I am a lifelong Democrat who stands for progressive ideals and taxpayer value. I seek a creative, collaborative, <clears throat> and caring cure for Washington gridlock. And that's why I, Dr. Janet Everhart, am endorsed by the Hamilton, Claremont, and Brown County Democratic Party. I wish to be your U.S. Representative to Congress in the 2nd District. Now where and how do you write an Everhart on the ballot? First, check your registration. Many voters have been purged. You have a choice of voting early starting October 12th at your Board of Elections, and that is your best choice. Make it a fun day with family and friends. You can vote an absentee ballot, or you can wait until November 8th, but that may mean long lines or inclement weather. On your ballot, the third section, after President and Senator, you will see the slot for U.S. Representative to Congress, 2nd Congressional District, choose one. The names of Tea Party Wenstrup and the non-Democrat Smith are printed on the ballot, but instead of choosing either of them, please completely fill in the square or oval next to the write-in line below their names and print Everhard, E-V-E-R-H-A-R-D. Double check to make sure that you have filled in completely the square or oval before my name or your vote won't count. And if you can't remember my name or need assistance, ask your poll worker for help. In addition to your write-in vote, you can help to stop the hijacking of the Democratic name by Smith and help me, Janet Everhard, challenge the Tea Party Republican incumbent. Wenstrup has consistently gridlocked Congress, voting for big money and against women's interests. In 2013, he was one of a minority of congressmen who voted against the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act, a great example of the Tea Party at work. You can help my efforts by sharing the story of disenfranchisement and Washington gridlock with your friends and family by word of mouth and social media. 
please take a look at and share my website www.writeineverhard.com for my ideas and more information. And thank you for listening today and sharing my story with your friends and family. I'm Dr. Janet Everhard, your next U.S. Representative to Congress for the 2nd District. Thank you. Hello, fellow citizen. My name is Shalom Keller, and I'm running to represent Ohio's first congressional district in Washington, D.C. The district covers the western half of Cincinnati and all of Warren County. A little bit about myself. I'm an Iraq and Afghanistan veteran. I worked with Iraq veterans against the war as a membership coordinator and uh, published the magazine SITREP. I studied mathematics and German at the University of Cincinnati. I have been living in Cincinnati for close to eight years now. I'm a mathematician, a consultant, a patriot, and uh, about to be a father. My son, David Shalom, is going to be born several weeks prior to the election. Our core values are honesty, integrity, and moral compassion. Our campaign does not accept financial contributions. I cannot in good conscience take people's money and spend it on rental cars or catered lunches or paid door knockers. When there are people in this district who are hungry now, who need a place to sleep tonight, and who need to pay their bills this month. There are 400,000 people in this district, more than half of the population, who do not vote. Some of them because they are minors. Some of them because they have been disenfranchised by the electoral system. And some of them because they simply do not believe that the two-party political establishment in Washington, D.C. caters to their needs or serves their interests. Our campaign website is online at shalomforcongress.com. Our legislative agenda, in short order, is as follows. Implement a $15 per hour minimum wage. Black Lives Matter. We need to work now to fight the harmful effects of climate change, which is a scientific reality. We need clean energy now. Along those lines, we also need to invest in education and infrastructure. We need to pursue a peaceful foreign policy and take care of our veterans. We need to protect American citizens' rights, LGBT rights, women's rights, religious minority rights, racial minority rights, Citizens' civil rights should be protected. Because it's America, and that's what America stands for. We need a new direction on trade. We need to repeal NAFTA. We need to block the TPP. We need to bring jobs back to Ohio. Uh, we need to end corporate personhood. With a constitutional amendment, we will establish that corporations are not people and money is not speech. More information can be found at movetoamend.org. We need to end corporate welfare, we need to protect net neutrality, and we need to tax the wealthy. Fellow citizen, I enlisted in the U.S. Army because I wanted to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I am running for Congress for the very same reason. It was my honor to serve in this nation's military. I look forward to serving my country again. My name is Shalom Keller and I am running for Congress. Thank you for your time. Hello, my name is Lou Terhar and I'm the candidate for the 8th Senate District in Ohio. I appreciate having this time with you. I'd like to share with you who I am, what I've done, what I plan to do in the Senate, 
and a bit of what I've already done as a member of the Ohio House. I'm a retired Naval officer and a graduate of the United States Naval Academy, as well as a Vietnam veteran. I have served as president and CEO of three major companies, and I've been a graduate school professor for the past 15 years. I've also served in the Ohio House for the last five years. Those are the things I've done. What I am is the oldest of nine children. My father is a union carpenter. My mother was a teacher. I never forget where I came from, and I never forget that every parent's dream is to ensure that their child can have a better life than they did. I believe that we can attain some of those goals, particularly for parents, through governmental action, as long as it is prudent, fiscally responsible, and wisely done. Education is my greatest passion in the legislature. I have recently passed a bill that requires a funding of fiscal responsibility and fiscal education for teachers. This bill will train teachers in all of the tools they need to ensure that our children are fiscally responsible and financially literate. It begins literally this month and any school district that just wishes to take advantage of this program, uh, all they have to do is contact the Chancellor and the Chancellor of Ohio will ensure that those teachers are enrolled. I also am passionate about small business and ensuring that there are jobs for everyone in Ohio. In the past term, I passed a bill that required the small claims court to be doubled in the amount that it is allowed to hear. This would ensure that small business has the chance to reclaim just debts from larger businesses without the use of an attorney or an expert witness, reducing their cost and ensuring that their cash flow allows them to pay the workers who do the work for them. I am also a veteran and I am passionate about veterans' causes. In the past term, we passed a bill for veterans' IDs in the state of Ohio. These IDs will allow veterans to be known wherever they go in the state, but more importantly, to get the ID, a veteran must file his discharge papers, known as a DD-214, to ensure that his record of service is on file with their county recorder. The reason this is important is that there was a fire in the Federal Records Retention Facility in St. Louis, and many veterans don't know that the only one who has proof of their service is them. This would ensure that that proof of service is on file with an official repository in the state of Ohio. I have spent five years in the House. I believe I have learned what I need to know to be effective as your representative in the Ohio Senate. I would very much appreciate your consideration on November the 8th, and I look forward to serving you as a member of the Ohio Senate. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jonathan Deaver, your state representative. I currently represent the 28th House District, which is part of the northern suburbs of Hamilton County. In the last 18 months, we've worked diligently and worked very, very hard to ensure that our schools got the proper funding that they deserved, that no school system took a cut. We also fought for families with disabled children to make sure that they could save and invest for their future. We fought hard to work against the heroin epidemic and provide additional treatment beds, doubling our capabilities here in Hamilton County, and also making sure that the suppliers and the drug dealers themselves are held accountable for their actions. We've also sponsored legislation that has revolutionized our housing situation in Ohio, freeing up families to save and invest for their future, and when they meet hard times, to save their home for their family and for their neighborhoods. We've cleaned up blighted and abandoned properties in our communities and given local municipalities for the very first time the opportunity to fix their local problems. We've brought money back for transportation and infrastructure improvements, money for areas that haven't seen any dollars since the first Star Wars came out. Moving into the next term, we have a lot more work to do, working to make sure that all those small mom and pop businesses have the security and safety that they need to take their dream out into the marketplace. We're reforming the way we do business in Ohio, and we're becoming fast the number one place to do business and to raise a family. My name is Jonathan Deaver. I am your state representative, and I would appreciate your vote in November. Hello, this is Hamilton County Commissioner Todd Portoon. I want to thank you for the privilege you've given me to serve as your county commissioner for this past term. Together we fought a lot of fights and, and we've created the opportunities that our county needs 
to move forward into the 21st century. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to have helped to lead on those issues because you have put me in a position where I can do so. I'm asking for your vote this November 8th so that we can together continue to work on these issues and move Hamilton County into a better uh, and greater uh, 21st century. I sit before you as the most qualified candidate for office. For one thing, I have the broadest number of endorsements. I've been endorsed by the Cincinnati uh, Police FOP, by the Cincinnati Firefighters, by the Miami Group of the Sierra Club, by working men and women through the AFL-CIO and the Greater Cincinnati Building Trades. Uh, I sit before you with the most actual legislative experience, both as a county commissioner and as a municipal legislator. And that experience has allowed me to develop relationships throughout the county, throughout the 49 jurisdictions of the county, at the state, and in Washington that have helped us to tackle the important issues that are in front of us. I'm a lifelong Hamilton County resident, and I'm raising my family here in Hamilton County. I was born in Price Hill, grew up in Coleraine Township in the neighborhood of Grosbeck. I'm a Coleraine High School graduate, so uh, West Side elder folks don't hold that against me, but um, I believe in all of our public schools and in education. When I was in law school, I lived in Clifton. I lived downtown shortly after that, lived in Walnut Hills, in Westwood, and today I live in Green Township. My oldest two children are graduates of Oak Hills High School and my youngest daughter is a freshman there. So I, I know the Hamilton County inside and out. And I'm also the, the most qualified and experienced candidate because we've worked on the tough issues together. We've tackled fiscal irresponsibility that was the key issue when I first came into office with the stadiums. I stood up against the Bengals on your behalf and we put in new control measures at the Great American Ballpark so that we could bring that stadium in on time and within budget. And we applied those control measures to the other major capital projects at the county as well. So we've now brought in two convention center expansions, have built an emergency operations center, improving our public safety. We, we did all the public improvements at the banks, all of these things on time and under budget because of reform measures that I brought to bear. Fiscal irresponsibility and our fiscal challenges have been key because of the recession and its impact on the county. Under my watch, we downsized county government. Today, we spend a third less than we did when I first took office. The size of county government is down by a quarter in terms of the number of employees, and yet we still have the lights on and the doors open for business, and we're doing much more on your behalf with less. We've proven it can be done. Taxes have been lowered under my watch. We have taken great pains not to increase property taxes in our, in our major levies. Uh, under my watch, I led the elimination of a tax on utilities, and we've not increased the transfer tax, and I also stand as the only uh, commission uh, candidate who has a 100% voting record on the property tax rollback. Biggest issue facing us all as we move in the future is MSD. We've got to clean up the mess at MSD, and I've been fighting on that issue for as long as I've been in office. I've gone to Washington several times over, taking on the EPA and the federal government and the Department of Justice on your behalf. Because of my efforts, we developed a, a national coalition that developed new policy and worked with Congress to develop new legislation. That legislation will save us all a billion dollars in the total project costs of what we're required to do under the consent decree at MSD. And that billion dollars is going to mean fewer, uh, fewer rates, uh, lower rates. The Senate has adopted it. We're working on the House to adopt it still this year so that you can realize the benefit of a rate reduction now and not sometime in the future. That experience uh, is being brought to your benefit and, and I hope with your vote, I'll continue to be able to lead uh, in that effort in cleaning up the mess at MSD on your behalf. But beyond our fiscal challenges at MSD, we need to create a, a greater opportunity. That means transporting Hamilton County into the 21st century, leading on issues like regional multimodal transportation to move both people and freight throughout the region efficiently and affordably. It means growing new investment opportunities and creating jobs in the county because of our investments. It means making us a healthier Hamilton County by our investments in the public health system, reducing infant mortality and providing greater access for health care. I want to clean up the mess at MSD, get our fiscal budget in order, grow Hamilton County, transport us to the 21st century, and make sure that we have a healthy Hamilton County for everyone to live in. I'm Todd Portoon, I'm your Hamilton County Commissioner, and I ask for your vote 
this November 8th so that together we can make Hamilton County a much better place for ourselves, for our children, and for generations to come. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Hamilton County Commissioner Dennis Dieters. I am running for Hamilton County Commissioner to keep my seat because I believe in the future of our community. I believe that uh, government's ultimate goal should be to give the next generation a better life than the one that we have. In our county, we have tremendous challenges. Uh, we have a significant uh, public safety and health issue with our heroin crisis. We have a broken sewer system that needs strong leadership to bring it out of uh, significant corruption and uh, inefficiency. And we have uh, an increase in uh, concern for the safety of our streets. So as your county commissioner, I've worked tireless, tirelessly to make our community a better place for our families to live, for businesses to thrive, for jobs to be created. And as your county commissioner, if you choose to, to elect me for the next four years, I will dedicate all of my time to making our community a better place. I was born and raised in Hamilton County. Uh, I'm raising my family here. It's important to me that we understand how critical it is who, you're, who you choose to be your county commissioner. There's a billion dollars that is uh, taxpayer money, your money, that the commissioners control for policy purposes, for uh, social welfare issues, for public safety. That money is sacred and I'll do everything in my power to protect it and recognize that it's your money. And as your county commissioner, I will dedicate uh, my entire term to making sure that we have a community that is run responsibly, like a business, that is safe, and that is striving to grow and compete with the rest of the region for jobs so that we can give our children a better future and a better life. Thank you. Hi, I'm Denise Driehaus. I'm running for the County Commission on November 8th. I'm running for the County Commission to bring a new vision to the county, one of collaboration, one of partnership, where all 49 jurisdictions are part of the growth for Hamilton County. I'm from the west side of Cincinnati. I'm one of eight and raised my two kids in Price Hill. I was also a former business owner. I'm currently the state representative for the 31st House District and serve as the ranking member on the Finance Committee. As a state rep, I've worked in a collaborative and bipartisan way to get things done. In the last two years alone, I've passed three bills. One of them was an economic development bill. The other one was an education reform bill. And the third was the Good Sam bill, which provided immunity for someone who was calling for someone who had overdosed to save the life of that individual. So those are issues I've dealt with as a state representative. Let's talk about the County Commission. The County Commission has a very important role in our community. They deal with things like MSD. As you know, your rates have tripled in the last 10 years. I want to work to get the rates under control at MSD. You deserve it, they're your tax dollars, and we need to get the rates under control. Secondly, I'm very concerned about Child Protective Services. Right now, we are underinvesting in the caseworkers that take care of those kids that have entered the system. It's a very dangerous situation, and we need to invest there and keep the kids and our families safe. In addition to that, the county deals with the courts and the jails. Currently, there are many people in our jail detoxing every day. There is this great idea to create recovery pods in the jail for those individuals they've already detoxed. If we could only provide some treatment and some support, they would have a fighting chance when they get out of the jail. It's a very efficient way to do business. It's also good for the individuals and can potentially save some lives. So those are some of the things that the county does. But the reason I'm running for the county commission is because of what the county doesn't do. Uh, they don't behave as partners, especially in economic development. As a state rep, the state has been a pretty good partner in a lot of the projects that we see in many of our neighborhoods. The county is not engaged in that space, at least not in a very robust way. 
We have the Port Authority, and so we have a mechanism, we have a vehicle by which we could uh, create some jobs, create some opportunities for businesses and for neighborhoods, and we're just not engaged in a, in a robust way uh, with economic development. So that's what I want to bring to the county. It's kind of a new posture, it's a new attitude, it's a way forward uh, so that we can create these great vi vital neighborhoods and create business opportunities in the business districts. Uh, so with that, I appreciate your time uh, and hope I uh, can gain your support on Election Day. Thank you. Hi, Hamilton County. My name is Seth Walsh, and on November 8th, I'm asking for your vote for Hamilton County Treasurer. Now, you may be familiar with the Hamilton County Treasurer's Office because they send you the bill once or twice a year to collect your property taxes. But I believe the office should be more than that. I believe the office should be the leader in spurring economic development all throughout Hamilton County. I know this because it's been my experience in Sedamsville, where I run their Community Development Corporation. We fight every day to revitalize their historic housing stock that has not been fought for in over 50 years. This is actually why I was asked to run for this office in the first place. Now I work in College Hill where our job is to revitalize the business district. We're in the process right now of beginning a new $34 million development at the corner of Hamilton and North Bend that will bring 12,000 square feet of retail and 162 units of apartments to the neighborhood. These apartments and retail will spark a new resurgence in College Hill, bring more tax money into our community, and bring new people into our neighborhoods. This is exactly what we need as a community in Hamilton County to be able to grow and reach our true potential. I believe Hamilton County is poised to launch in the next several years and become a leader not only in Ohio, but the entire nation. But to do that, we have to take a step back and work to redevelop all of our communities, all across Hamilton County. And the County Treasurer's Office is one of the few offices uniquely positioned to do just this. That's why I'm running for Hamilton County Treasurer, so that I can make that difference and I can lead that change that we need. Together, I believe we can make this happen so that all of our communities grow and thrive. And together, the tax burden is eased on all of us because more people will be coming in, spending money here, moving into Hamilton County, and making Hamilton County the place we all know it can be. And that's why, on November 8th, I'm asking for your vote to become the next Hamilton County Treasurer. Thank you. Hey everyone, my name is Aftab Purval, and I'm the Democrat running for the Hamilton County Clerk of Courts. Uh, first and foremost, Aftab is a funny name, particularly for a politician. I get quacked at a lot because people think it's funny to call me Aflac. However you remember my name, remember that it's Aftab and I'm running for the Clerk of Courts. I'm very proud of my name. My name means sunshine. My parents gave me the name. I was born and raised in Dayton, Ohio. Went to public schools, then off to Ohio State where I was elected student body president. I moved to Cincinnati to attend the UC College of Law. While in law school, I worked at the Legal Aid Domestic Violence Clinic, representing battered women who couldn't afford an attorney. I then moved to DC and worked at a large law firm, but I got homesick and I wanted to move back home. I'm half Indian, half Tibetan. I look Hawaiian, but I'm all Ohio. So I moved back to Cincinnati and served as a federal prosecutor. I was a special assistant United States attorney working with the Department of Justice, protecting our families right here in Hamilton County. Currently, I'm an attorney at Procter & Gamble. I'm the global brand attorney for Oil of Olay. I tell you about my educational background and my professional experiences because I'm the most qualified person in this race. I'm the most qualified person to serve as your clerk of courts. And I think it's incredibly important to have a qualified attorney running our local court system. Too often, for these lesser known offices like the clerk of courts, the person who wins or the person who gets the job does so because of their last name or because of their family connection and not because of their resume. And unfortunately, that's led to some real negative results in our court system. We have some of the highest court fees in the entire state right here in Hamilton County. The people of Cleveland, the people of Columbus, they pay less to access their courts than we do. The courts really should be the one place where it doesn't matter what you look like, where you're from, or how much money you have. It should be the one venue where the playing field is equal. And I'm not so sure that's happening right here in Hamilton County. It's clear that we're paying more, but are we getting more? Are we getting a more modern court system, a more efficient court system? Are we getting more justice? I think the answer is no. We're paying more and we're getting less. Not all of our courts accept and process online filings. We don't have mobile apps to help you get your work done on the go. Our website, it looks like it's from uh, 1985. 
Other counties don't operate this way. In other counties, they have online filings for all their courts. In other counties, they've moved to going paperless so they don't waste taxpayer dollars on copying, printing, filing, and snail mailing documents. In other counties, like Franklin County, they have a legal self-help clinic. So if you can't afford an attorney, or if you don't want to hire an attorney, you can get your work done in the court system by yourself. These are all bipartisan ideas that will help our courts be more efficient, more modern, and more just. Unfortunately, whenever we bring up new ideas to save taxpayer dollars and to create greater efficiency and accessibility, the status quo says the courts are good enough. Every time we offer a new idea, the response we get is the courts are good enough. Well, I'm running because I reject the status quo. I reject that notion. The courts aren't good enough. We need to make them better. We need to make them more efficient. We need to catch up with the rest of the state of Ohio. And because I've been a trial attorney for nine years now, I believe I'm the most qualified candidate to drag our courts into the 21st century and to save taxpayer dollars. Under my leadership, the courts will be more efficient, will be more accessible, and will be more just. My name is Aftab Puraval. I'm the Democrat running for the Hamilton County Clerk of Courts. I've never run for office before, but I believe I'm the most qualified candidate in the race, and I would appreciate your vote. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hamilton County Clerk of Courts Tracy Winkler. I was appointed as a Clerk of Courts in 2011. Uh, prior to 2011, um, I was the uh, trustee in Green Township. Uh, I had been a trustee for six years. I'll tell you a little bit about myself personally. I am married to Judge Ralph Winkler. We have three daughters and six beautiful grandchildren. Uh, my priorities in life are God, family, and community. Um, really have enjoyed serving as the Clerk of Courts, um, but also I enjoy serving outside of work. Um, I am a volunteer jail chaplain. I also volunteer on the Center for Addiction Treatment uh, as a board member. Um, I just want to say that uh, as the Clerk of Courts, I know, really as any elected official should know, uh, that the most important thing that an elected official does is to manage the resources that they've been given. In the clerk's office, uh, the resources that I've been given are the people, the budget, and the technology. Over the past five years, uh, my staff and I have had the opportunity to improve technology. Um, we have improved our e-filing system. Uh, not only have we improved that for the attorneys, who uh, navigate through our courts, but we also have improved that for uh, litigants who are, are filing um, new cases on their own. So if you're a pro se filer, you can now file uh, electronically, which you were not able to do before in Hamilton County. A lot of people maybe don't know this, um, but our website, which is www.courtclerk.org, is one of the most visited websites in Hamilton County. Uh, we get over two million hits on our website um, every week. Uh, so that's two million hits to www.courtclerk.org every week. Um, in that, uh, people, when they visit our website, uh, they can do a comprehensive name search, uh, looking up uh, if somebody has ever interacted with the courts, whether it be criminally or civilly, they can look that information up on our website just by entering a person's name. So it really is a helpful tool. The other thing that we've done uh, to upgrade technology is we are going paperless uh, in the courtrooms and that has been um, a great project that we've started and I hope to continue um, as, as uh, we look to complete that project sometime next year. Um, I talked a little bit about also the budget. Uh, we have a $12 million budget. Uh, that's one of the resources that I have. We've done a great job of managing our budget. In the clerk's office over the fa past five years, we have either remained on budget or been under budget uh, for the clerk's office. I know the county commissioners love when that happens and I'm proud of the work that we've done there. Um, but probably the greatest resource that I manage are the people uh, that work within the clerk's office. The clerk's office is one of the largest offices within Hamilton County. We have 220 employees that help you with things like auto titles, passports, uh, filing court documents, 
paying traffic tickets, all of those things come through, uh, come through our staff. And you, if you're interacting in any of those things, you're going to interact with what I think is probably uh, some of the most friendly, courteous, and knowledgeable staff in Hamilton County. Um, I want to continue uh, to work with that staff, continue to work with the resources that I've been, getting, been given, continue to improve the things that, we've, uh, that we have in the clerk's office, um, but really to continue doing the good work uh, that I've been doing in Hamilton County as your clerk of courts. My name is Tracy Winkler, and I would appreciate your vote this November uh, to re-elect me as Hamilton County Clerk of Courts. Thank you so much.